to the server. And I don't think it'll be too different today. Ents on the other side, they're on a five map Look losing this, streak on Inferno. Chad, how many members of Astralis not buying Kevlar? This is clearly an intention. We saw this on um, Dust2 as well. Yeah, they want to opt for a lot of utility so much here. Utility. And, and this was smokes. something that Sean Gares actually floated as some options a couple years ago. So it's curious to see it being picked up in such a fashion. And wow, Sonny wants to kick this one off very aggressively down Banana. He's continuing to pick. A lot of this utility is just being used for this. crowd control. He's got a decoy, fake decoy for cough. Is it coffins? Okay, so they're actually just going to throw it oh. around the corner. They need info. There's a lot more around the corner than Sunny anticipated. Still peeking on the flashes. Still, actually, I was going to say uns oh, sun no. hero. Sunny's actually tapped away at two heads. And Device, he's been peppered as well. That's the no... I was going to say no armor. He's the only one with the Kevlar vest, actually. So this is perfect for men. So they'll be grouping up towards the A site. And there's three members there. Or oh, excuse me, two. Need to refresh my HUD. Alu and Yampi. I don't know how they plan to overcome this. If Magic could somehow get the, the flank. Get Sergei. Yeah, this is the jewel he was looking for. Sergei's confirmed that there is a flank coming in. And oof, easy find with the USP eventually. And back to B then. A smoke and a Molotov, it's, it's, not, it's not the worst mix, maybe towards new box. If they can plant, that's a win for Astralis now. This round's fallen apart very quickly. Yeah, a Molotov kind of determines my excitement, and it's not found the frag. Device has, though. They can just get one more. The bomb could go down. Doto's denied it. That's actually crucial. So Sunny and Doto are double, respectively. And it does give Ents the pistol round. Now, with no bomb plant, Astralis don't necessarily have the funds to slap in the third round. Might see some Tech Nines and Armors into our second. I, I enjoyed this from Ents here because you could see the clear intention not to give up banana control. They wanted to make sure they harassed until they had a couple of picks. And by doing so, they even took down some of the members who had invested in utility. So Ents off to a bit of a fly here with the pistol round. But the same thing happened on Dust too, and then they lost to a clutch. But you're right, without that plant, we won't see the AKs dropped. We won't see anything at all, ah, just grenades. So quite a conservative approach here from Astralis, and that means these UMPs should have a bit of a field day. If they can pick up the majority of the kills, that will help stimulate the economy for Ents here in round number two, and then maybe they can get an orp out, just depending on how many frags they find for Alu as quick as you like. Or if they don't, if they keep it clean, maybe they can go for a bit of a bonus. But let's see how good are the Glocks of Astralis. Molly towards Device. He's not long for this world. And a great little setup here, Sunny. And Sergey chiming together, working together, and continuing to press forward. Hmm. Oh, they're both dinked. They are. Maybe the Glocks could overrun them. They just have to hit the first shot. He wasn't far off his crosshair, just a little shy of the mark. And Glaive trying to finish the job. Sergey doesn't really flinch. Nine HP stands his ground and gets the USP frag. So, Ents, weather the storm of the full Glock eco. Oh, Alex, Sergey has 4.9k, meaning he could drop an AWP over to Alu. He's gone for an M4. I'm surprised they didn't try and bring the AWP out earlier. We know how potent Alu can be on the AWP on the CT side. He loves to pick towards middle, goes for those mid-round kind of jewels, and that makes life very, very janky. But keeping it conservative events, so operating with three SMGs, one M4, and a Famous up against five AK-47s and a light smattering of utility from Astralis. Let's get this one underway because we get into the business rounds very, very quickly. Yeah, here we go. One of the things Astralis might struggle here with is the amount of utility damage they can pull off on the T side. They don't know what setups they'll be working against. Ents could have retooled completely. Yeah, Magisk has tagged up Sunny, so he's oh. vulnerable. And Sergei's burnt oh, down to a Chris. Dead. B's open through flame and bullets. Alu, only a UMP. His timing will be everything. The flash won't be there. He tries to peek on the smoke, but... Not a big enough gap to be too punishing. Astralis still have every man they need. And Jesus, those speculative shots weren't far off. And though they're suppressed, Magis traces them nicely. Does catch and punish. Yampi trying to retreat. And Vice didn't quite manage to maintain the spray. So it likely will be the save call made. Yampi just trying to keep hold of what he can. It's not a lot to save, but it's better than nothing here. Ents getting beaten down towards Top Banana. As I was just saying, they're going to have problems with utility damage. Sergei basically burns to death. Dodo seeing if he can trap them in and pick up a frag on the exit, but he's actually made a footstep, and that's been heard. Dupree on high alert and hits a high headshot as 
It'll be another gun ripped out of the hands. And now it's just Yampi with the Famas over towards CT Arch. There's nobody close enough to take this away. So he will get the option to carry this through. And as the $1,400 loss bonus for Entz begins, we won't be seeing a very, very potent buy into yes. round number four. I mean, let's not forget, Sergey came into this round with so much cash. He dropped an M4. That was to Sunny. We saw how little damage and impact Sunny was able to have with it. So that's going to make him feel definitely a little hard done by. He's got 1,800 into the next round. And so Astralis, definitely a big swing of momentum in favor of them into our fourth round of play. Yeah, so as long as Astralis can keep this clean, they can begin to establish their T side. Now they're going into the next round with full utility. And oh, Ents have all in. So this is quite a push here. They've upgraded some rifles, SMGs, Deagle for Sergey at best. This is a very important round for Ents in the early stages, and that's a Miss Molotov. That is a, mos a bit of a mistake. I don't know if it's going to be punished too much. Now, they have the flash pulled, but no one's there on the half wall just yet. The nade definitely bodes much better. They're going to do this it partnered with the retake smoke. So no molly, but the nade could very well do good damage just over the roof into Glaive's face. So he's brought down to 68. Softens him up for the deagle action later. Taking apps control as well with a bomb leaning B. They want to try and keep those CT's feet planted on A. There was so much time left on the clock, actually. Ali's soft rotated to B. He's come to back them up. Does have an M4 and no nades. They need to flash re-aggress. They need an opening kill. And Astralis are aware of that. Hiding behind the half wall, it does mean you're not going to get caught by the flat. Oh, it's perfect timing. Just as they boost on the half wall, they can drop off in time. And Astralis will survive the initial re-aggression. More damage. This time the HE chipping away at Sunny. Regrouping towards the A site. Don't forget Alu rotated in. Hi, Dupree. Oh, by Yampi. He does land the dink, but it's M4 v AK, and the AK does do that one shot headshot enough oh. to seal the deal of the first. Now trying to fake the, the B rotate. And Magisk has gone down. Now Device needs to convince them that they're going B, and that frag should be enough. Alu's on the site as well. Device running in, trying to pull any rotate off he can. He doesn't check his corners. Oh. And Alu's got a crucial frag. Maybe. There's damage to be done. Sergei's Dota, what are you made of, my man? Sergey's on the side as well. 10 seconds, the bomb on Glaive. Wait, what is going on? The bomb's going B. With one second to spare, they plant it. Alu rotated off. He feels like a right plum. He thinks it's A. Ah. Yikes. They got play. I thought that was their round to win after the death of Device, but they pivot just in the nick of time. Doto and Sergey were in such power positions to deny that plant. Eight seconds. As the Glaive turns the corner on Banana, that was intense, but it's actually enough to win them the round. Where did they see the bomb for Alu to commit to that rotation? That is Do you wild. Have Skybox running? Ah, uh, yeah. Let me see if I can find this and work this one out. We can just learn together. Because that was a very odd rotation there I from swear. Alu. So do prefrag Yampy short. But the bomb was on Glaive the they entire were in time. Apps. Bomb was on Glaive the whole time. Yeah, absolutely. When did he start his relocation? All right, so I've got it up right now. Uh, so at this point, Alu's just killed a player in B. Now there's action going down on A, more flashes. Alu's left. I'm surprised that Glaive's footsteps weren't audible because he was noisy the whole time. So uh, I, I'm not quite sure what drew them over from A. Look, there was so much investment. I'm going back a couple seconds here. So you can see flash over, Zipex fighting, but he's on his own. He's keeping two of them busy and he's even he drawing the rotation. Out of the balcony. I mean, that was perhaps enough for them to say, yeah, must be A. Yeah, okay, well... Oof, they saved the guns at least. Yeah, that's a heartbreaker for Ents though. They did all the hard work and they just get caught out by the positioning and decision making of Glaive. One of the world's best in-game leaders. The best team to ever do it. And that is Device making quite a strong case for another round on the Astralis board. They've picked off one on Coffins. A quick one tap of his AK-47. Two armored M4s. An MP9 for Doto, and that's the only kit as well, so his positioning will have ramifications. Looking to deny Brackets control, and it's not like it, Doto can fight for Brackets. He's just <laughs> going to have to kind of let it happen. Yeah, he needs to hope that they all line up and are flashed and probably not looking at him to... Yeah, okay, a lot well, of I don't like here. how long your list is. <laughs> I really don't. It's not the checklist we're looking it's for. It's a pit smoke. I've been trying to get a pit smoke in my repertoire. I don't okay. have one. Where's he, Rush? Is he tucked in towards the bench, in towards middle, aiming at the flower pot? And it is indeed. So uh, that looks like a simple one, as long as you get yourself a bit of a jump rooney. Yeah, I got a jump rooney. And Yampi blocking them and knifing them! <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, he strafed it! He actually gets $1,500 knife kill onto the Dane, the only one though. The rest are going to save the M4s. 
I mean, that's better than nothing. Yeah, that's a great way to <laughs> exit the round here for Yampi. Look at how much cash he's working with. The loss, bound, loss bonus as well has even built on up to make it so he's going to be dealing with bucket loads. And Astralis, they're not looking to chase. They've just fortified the A bomb site, making sure there's no retake potential, no ninja defuse possible whatsoever. And Sergey and Alu are going to continue to do what they have been doing and save those guns. So it's only one death for Alu so far. Just boosting up to make sure that they can take the least amount of damage possible. Magus might want to get in on this action. Hello. Bomb goes off. Third round on the board for Astralis as they continue their T-sided campaign. And now the guns can come back on out for ends. We might see a full bite. Yampi has enough if he wants to drop an AWP over towards Alu, and there it is. Actually, Doto's currently got it, so let's just make sure they're able to shift their weapons around. And a timeout taken from Ents, and I like the timing of it, knowing that now you're about to get underway with the big weaponry, have everything that you hopefully desire off of all those saves, <sighs> parried across guns. So, I don't oh. want to say Dust, I've got similar tingles to Dust too, but Ents getting the first two rounds, and then... The Astralis machines whirring into action. Check this out, Alex. This is from uh, round number four where we had all the confusion. So Device runs in all on his own. So at this point, if Alu clears it, which he is doing, he's like, oh, nobody's home. All right, I better rotate. It's not here. He was just selling the fake. And I swear that Glaive would have been audible there because there was not enough time for him to be shift walking into the site. So a bit of a brain fade from Alu potentially might have to go back and watch it in the demo just to see exactly what he saw and exactly what he heard. But Astralis really got away with one there. They really did. Just stole it from them. Daylight robbery. See the power of that half wall smoke does stop any punishes off the back of that util, which has definitely punished. And there's more where that came from. Oh, it's perfect util usage from Ents this round. We've managed to bring Glaive and Magisk or Margisk down to 31. Now very softened up for this push, but the half wall flash is still lined up. He's got it cooked and ready. It would have been a perfect flash onto Sergei, but now a close half wall Molotov will spur them forward or make them respect it. They've opted for the latter option. Bomb retrieved again. And this, this quad boost, they've got three players leaning A so heavily that if anyone from Astralis wants to deny mid brackets, it's probably going to be lethal. I mean, you will lose your life in pursuit of that information. Yeah, the trades here don't look like they're going to fall in their favor. Oh, that's a molly, though, that does for stop Alu holding the line. Oh, it's being fluffed. Oh, they missed it. Flashes are good. Yeah, but it's not enough to deny mid control. Maybe Glaive with a full commit. Oh, he's gone down. Alu's holding A. That's enough for the info for them. And look, look how fast Alu's going. He, full, he pulled the trigger a second ago. He's already on long. He likely will rotate on the next call from B. Great smoke as well. This is denying a lot of access. 25 seconds, Astralis. Where are you going? Feels like B. Alu's not moving the muscle. Sunny wants info, and he does find one, expecting more. But up A they come, and this time the CTs are in the right places. They're not falling to the silly reindeer games. Astralis, you haven't got time for this. Alu's punished them. They just don't have any time. They'll have to back away. Stop the hunt. Sergei's got him. And this is a perfect round for Ents. They will equalize three to three. Astralis just getting strung out across the map. And a big part of that was the B denial. Sunny and Sergey doing a great job. Yeah, very good utility usage there. And it was also the positioning that you pointed out over towards quad side. So two key parts of Ents' defense. They're both operating at full capacity to make sure they can get the third and tie things up. As Astralis do have enough money to buy back in. And now Ents need to string another one together to build a bank on their side. Alu's still carrying that AWP. There's two defuse kits in play and full utility. That's round number seven. It might be a bit of a brawl because this looks faster from Astralis. They're sending four players through second middle, spamming through just to obscure some footsteps and make sure there's no holes presence. And they're going for the same setup. Yampi up on the balcony. He wasn't spotted. Alu orping quad. This does leave a massive gap over towards the arch side. But this can't be identified for Astralis. Even if you did your homework, well, you can't. This is the first time this roster's ever playing. Yeah. Flash is great. Toto can't help. And Zipex gets down. What on earth? He's tucked in. Oh, he's pulling out nades. Put them away, young man. Magisk and Glaive have kept the round competitive. Three CTs bodies litter the battlefield. Bomb goes down. Magisk. Oh, he could have been spotted on that gap. I think Sunny just pulled out a little too soon. And 
Magisk was the one to drop that smoke to re-lock them out on long. Oh, it should be a save, but it looks like they're looking for a kill at least. You can see that Sergey has now come over to meet his teammate in Sunny, but unless Astralis offer them up a misplay, Ents will have to hold on to their guns. It's just the right call considering where Doto and Alu's cash is at. They will be able to buy in the next round, but not if they lose these. And there you go. They've called off the dogs. Yeah, boy. And they'll just hold on to those two M4s. So as quick as you like, those three players over towards Pit and Quadside fall, and that's the round. It's simple as that. There's not any real nuance to it. But I like the play from Astralis there, making sure they're able to make something a bit more decisive. It's not just the defaults they're operating with. Alu almost made it interesting with picking up that AK. If he gets Magus, well, that round's on like Donkey Kong, but... Out of interest, what do you think Zipex was going to try and molly? You know, he's pulled out his molly when he's dropped mini pit. Like, what on earth? It's a sight, maybe? Yeah, I think either or a deep one over towards the arch Library, side to so make they sure they can't him. push and help out the teammates while they're getting whittled on down, yeah. just to slow the rotation. I just to understand the thought process because I've never thought about pulling out a nade as I've leaped out a balcony. Oh, this aggression's been spotted. Yeah, Dodo. that's a big load of info. And Dupree, he's oh, locked Dodo stuck. in. What are you supposed to do? Help me, guys, please. What are you supposed to do? Device finds him eventually. Trying to smoke himself out of trouble. Dupree's presence was enough and a very interesting smoke from du Device. Just basically said, both teams saying, please don't go middle. Yeah, so they've been able to negate one another and look at the B bomb site. You've only got Sunny over here and he's not even in the bomb site whatsoever. So if it is B finished. Smoke B from there. He can smoke off B from there. Yeah, I think, however, even if he was to throw it, they will just save. Being down a man again, Astralis oh. roaring into the site. He would need to get a couple here as they cross through the smoke. Or push through the smoke and get a double spray down as they plant. Be audacious. Uh, he tried to catch the planter. Magisk uses that trace of fire to track him. Or to trace him. Well, that's going to be the round. As again, Ents will have to hold on to their upgraded weapons. And this time, there's a prize possession in the AWP from Alu. They need to find him some impact. Maybe let him off the leash a little bit to go for some uncharacteristic picks against the defaults. But now that he's missed that shot, they know where he is. And the money is good for Astralis. They can start chasing. Okay. Yeah, that's a big frank from Yampi. By being able to... Confirmed that the apps is currently uninhabited. He's actually walking into Device's Orb here. And oh! A hard shot to hit, and he's taken another big frag from Yampi. That's actually going to enable the double orb setup that otherwise, financially, was just never going to happen. They got $2,400. Be interested to see if they actually want to operate with this. Yampi looks like he's holding onto it, not going back for the AK. So the double orb setup against Astralis. The reason this is very risky is their utility usage is on point. You're either going to be flashed, naded, molotovs, or smoked off of your line. It's very unlikely that they give you a window. And if you can find one, well, you better make sure you hit your shot. You can't be hitting a couple of sitters like we saw Alu do just there. I they like the Alu mid-peak. I don't know if he's going to go for it. It looks like he is heading that side. But um, he's one of the few players that oh. tends to get away with it very commonly. Check out this setup. It's a double orb A defense. This is unusual. Yeah, I bet it's actually got some legs, though. Ah, oh, lots of util does deter them. Oh, Magis burning down. It's a cruel reality. A small variation in that safe spot you found. No longer safe. A slightly different molly. Suddenly, your little safe haven, your patch of green. Not so good. It's a big opening frag for Ents. They needed that. And that's got this... I'm intrigued by a double orb A setup because you can see there are gaps. Alu's holding middle, and he'll just take cursory looks towards the boiler walkout. It's not a risk many teams take dry. So you can see their angles do technically cover the entire A site. I don't fancy Dupree's chances. He has the right IP here, but... Can't be quick reactions. God damn, nearly. And pushed on. Device anti-flash and connects. That's a big start. Knowing that the... B defense were trying to get information, suggesting that now they can work their way, worming through these smokes. Oh no, Good not bad. Yeah, and Zipex did get tagged, but it's not enough to convert lethality. Yampi, middle of nowhere, but still hitting the shots necessary. Needs to stop Glade from hunting. And it's a good Z axis angle that really was uncomfortable for Yampi. Does enable the bomb to go down. They flood into the site. Sergey coming in from spawn. We got Toto up mid. It's a very familiar set of circumstances. There is still a smoke on device. If Doto goes down, oh, big frag. Device has managed to fall, and now they've got full util on Doto. He can at least flash to set up Sergey. Zipex is low too. Molly, they can walk up short now. 
Glaive not known to be the author, but he hits the shot necessary, which means it's all onto Doto and Low. Very uncomfortable scenes. Glaive's holding the hay bales push. Bomb's half gone. Maybe, oh, barrel, a freebie. Glaive's given it to him. He smokes on the bomb. Zipex on graveyard. He's gonna go for the full hold or it's a fake. Draws the fire. Zipex has got enough. And the 1v1, one out. That's the first frag we've actually seen from Zipex in the kill feed and it wins the 1v1, puts the sixth round on the board. Six to three, Astralis starting to run away with things similar to that of their their uh, Dust 2T side. Oh, all right. That one could have really, really gotten out of control for Astralis there. Because they identified that the AWP was over towards Pit, or at least Halls within the early stages, they probably thought there wasn't one over towards Arch side. So as soon as Alu pips that shot, and he goes down, they must start just flooding in, thinking that the site should be clear. But hold up, we've got some aggression, we've got some nukes Oof, down mid. Yes, nades and pistols charging middle. Device has handled the banana side. There's more where that came from. The Molly's holding them at bay. He really wants to solve this mystery. Oh, <laughs> finds the answer. Flash from Zipex as well. Yeah, that's perfect. Using the uh, underpass to catch him off guard. And now Alu, well, he's got his knife out. Device can hear him. So three, two, one. We've got a seventh. Astralis connect. Dupree digs him out of trouble. It does get scary when you get lose the early casualty and then there's, there's, there's so many uncertainties as to how much ground they've covered, what's safe. You either have to slow down or, as Dupree did, bring the fight to them. He had the advantage. He had the weapon. He had the armor. And he made good use of it. Every schmeckle they could pro possibly scrape together now from Ents. Max loss. No surprises there as it's four rounds in a row from Astralis. Smiles on the faces of Dupree now. He was having a frustrating time in the early stages of Dust too. Yeah, so thanks to Alu. Yeah, good to see him alive and kicking. As well, Sergey, you're gonna cop the nades. You're gonna cop oh, and almost an early death. He's on 15. Can he get out? Flames surround him in the nades. They're even better. Astralis, they trade back, and this favors the T's. As banana pressure is mm. quite clear at this stage. It's shot at the back of Magus, just keeping him in check. As Dupree will pick up the bomb. They haven't lost control right now, Astralis of window room or halls, but they don't know that. It's a very defensive setup from Ents, who are now operating with very little information. You can see Alu on the arch side with the AWP. He's maintaining bracket control, and it's just this man on your screen, Sunny, loans him over towards B. It's worth noting how they've, they've parked device in that corner. They can hear the rotations yeah. through Speedway. Ingo was his name, though. Okay, so a smoke towards top middle will give Alu a little bit more time to continue to maintain this mid control. He can walk up towards quad side, and to deal with that will be Dodo on the balcony, but now Device is looking for a pick. If he gets this kill, B's open. Oh, oh he has. Look so how simple it is. simple for him. Well, that's the A rotate locked in. Alu's got to go and respect that. Moving. Yampi's going. Dodo's going. And it's going to be an A finish. This is a heartbreaker. Device continuing to make a convincing case. Yampi trying to take control. Dodo's still second guessing it, though. He heads back to library, but what are Astralis doing? They've over, they've Guys, the 20 seconds. Here. What is your plan? Okay, Device decides to hit the wall bang. They're going back to B. They though. are. With 18 seconds, if, unless Alu hits the shot to deny the bomb plant, that's Dupree. We got smokes for spawn. It shouldn't happen. It shouldn't. 10 seconds. High flash. The bomb's going across now. Can't be denied, surely. He's hoping they don't push in. Oh, the bomb goes down, but the spray is there. Doto. Device would have to ace to clutch it. He's found an elevated position. He's holding it. Three seconds. Device doesn't spray. He doesn't have it. Oh, just in the nick of time. My goodness. Device. He's done it all. A round that starts and ends with him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. New addition from Ents. Doto makes it damn close. Ooh. All right. Well, I was teeing this up, and uh, this was something I wanted to highlight from a previous round, but that one just got out of control. So this was where they pushed me with pistols. So check oh. this out. They take down Magus. Now, what I want to highlight is that supportive flash. Look where Zipex is when he throws this flash to set up Dupree. Over towards the balcony position in second mid. Now, here's the hero. The flash in the sky, Bonk. it goes off, and you've got everybody blind here. Even the player back towards top mid. Alu is flashed during this, and now you can see Dupree comes up, and he picks up all three of those kills. But yeah, that round that just happened was absolutely mental. I, I mean, cannot I, believe that. I hope the replays show Doto's push because that was that was nearly like a second short of being a round winner. Yeah, sorry, everybody. The reason we don't get the replay there is my bad. Uh, no, no, I'm sure I'd already it, teed up that, it'll come, uh, it'll come. <laughs> that uh, old old skybox. So the insane stuff is now the scoreline is eight to three. That was an exciting round. But in terms of the context of the game, Astralis have won the half. And now it's a matter of damage control. How many can Ents avoid getting pounded oh. on here? Well, that's a great start. That works. 
could be better. Look at that. Well handled. Alu's down to one. In case anyone had forgotten that Device is a, one of the world's best riflers as well. And this is one of the things I've been noticing more out of Astralis since Magus is actually doing the majority of the in-game leading is Device, or maybe it's just the meta shift itself, is taking a lot more fights, a lot more duels with the AK-47s as opposed to the AWP on the yeah. T side. It's I mean, great it's like, to hey, see. Dude, you've got really good aim and you're good at Counter-Strike. I think I'd like you to use the AK-47 for a bit. And it makes sense when you can see him getting some great openings and some great clutches as Astralis now... They're tidying this one up. They've got the brooms. They're sweeping away ants and any of the danger that they may have been posing in round number 12. Scoreline believe. will be 9-3. to three. Jumping out of apps, bringing the bomb from A apps at 20 seconds. That's not even for the first time. It looks like they're overthinking it in it does, some of these situations. Yeah. But I suppose when a teammate has the whole bomb, it's like, hey, guys, um, yeah, you feel like here? A, you feel like a bit of a plum if you run into way in this three, the last three CTs exactly. are there. Exactly. So I can understand it. it. I just hate the time on the clock yeah. they're doing it. If that oh. was me as an in-game leader, I would be panicking. But that's why I'm on this side. I don't have to freak out anymore. <laughs> I just get to sit here and... Well, we can just, you know, like watching a firework display, just make sound effects ooh, while... Ooh, ooh, ah. ah. I like the fizzy one. Yeah. I like the... I was about to call it the wagon wheel. Ah, I always forget what it's actually called. Pinwheel. Pinwheel. Yeah, you just... You, you get a nail, you put it on the fence post. Okay. It just spins and makes lots of sparks. All right, well... And your uh, old me loved it. We're going to get what we wanted, everybody. Here's yes. the replay. So Device coming into B. Cracks head, open the head of Sunny, gets a spam kill through the glass panes, and this is where it gets interesting. Dodo, five, five seconds. Five, four, three, two... Oh, only just. Oh, man, honestly. And the fact that Device doesn't adjust to the potential for that <laughs> elevated defuse. <laughs> Dodo tried every trick in the book. Good crack. Really good crack. Flashed himself through. That was one-man army. And a good sign of life from Doto. Alu tries to take Whoa. the same risk he did with a scout with a glass cannon orb. I'm, I'm baffled that he's got the confidence to go for that. Now, Device has been an absolute nuisance for Sunny. You can see his KD, 5 to 10, and I reckon Device responsible for many of them. Look at all this space. They don't even know he's pushed don't up you this far. He is, he is. And he's going to catch him. Sunny's so low. Device admittedly confirms his 3B. His 3B. Glaive's going to scoop up the bomb. Magic pivots quickly as well. Doto realizes that info may very well have been guarded and drops his smoke. Alu's rotating in as well. The Lurk smoke drops on the Balk, but they're not necessarily walking through it. That's Zipex's responsibility. Alu fills the long gap. Yampi and Doto establish a crossfire for short. Oh, mate, by it is Zipex, and he does manage to get not only that, but the call on Yampi. Dupree can get the frag if Zipex doesn't steal it from him first. And again, looking brutal. Good nade damage. Doesn't finish off Zipex, though, and so the save call is made once again. Ents and their CT sides, they've been having a fair share of woes here against the coordinated Astralis. And this was to be expected. We came yeah. in with Ents on a five-map losing streak on Inferno and never a map that they've looked relatively convincing on. And Astralis, I believe I said they'd won seven on the trot. And obviously, Zipex, he's only been back for Blast, and now the kickoff here within Beijing. But uh, they've won that map twice in Blast. I think one was an overtime affair, and the other was a drubbing against MIBR 16-5. to And the best they can muster now within this first half will be five rounds, but it's difficult to see how they're going to get there. Everything that they've thrown at them, it hasn't been working out, and I think Astralis, they're just having a good time with this one. Bomb goes off, round gets marked up on the board, and the scoreline 10 to 3 as we see Zipex with two huge opening kills onto that A site. Takes the first, finishes off the second, second there, and well, the smoke towards Moto means there was no way back in. The save had to come through, and it didn't look like there was a lot of action in the round, but sometimes that's the way they go. But you can see some surprise there on the face of Sunny. And back underway. So round 14. number 14, yeah. This is where I really want to see Ents. If you want to stay competitive, coming into the T side, I have no doubt that they will be able to hang. But overcoming that 12, I think that's a number that's just too far gone. Oh, for sure. Got to keep Astralis. It's just under wraps in some capacity. Alu is probably one of the best candidates to do so. And an aggressive stance in the apps. I like this. Yeah, I like the way this could very well translate. Hang on, that's a great molly. Oh, it's getting saucy. Yeah, sunny and burning. Great spread. He just gets cooked. And that's like the fourth Molotov kill we've seen. They might not clear Sergei now. Really? Didn't. 
And actually, the frag translates nicely. Zipex is getting pressured by the apartment's push. Oh, wow. And they win it. This is big from Yampi. Allo. Oh, quick reactions as well. Everyone's independent duel has gone their way. And for the first time in quite some time. Oh, Yampi's expecting this very nice angle. Can't stop Yampi. Double kill. Glaive goes down. And well, Device has been great. 17 to 7 his scoreline, but. This would be the ace. This would be another v4. ace 1v4 clutch. Not many of them on record. He has time to do this, but not enough utility and really no map control. We can see that there's a gap up mid, and I like what Ents are doing right now. They've tucked two players in towards pit. One of them's Doto, one of them's Yampy, who's been a bit of a hero in this. So they're just looking to deny the plant, and that's the best way to play out a situation like this. And even give him sight control. Just make sure he doesn't get that bomb down. 16 seconds. Device is in. What? They might give him a chance here. Confirms Doto's there. Trying to plan. Yampy's close on the site, though. Seven seconds. Device will not get that bomb down. He tried his best. Looking for a frag and he gets... Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, Yampy. Finishes his triple off with a lovely knife kill. Puts $1,500 in his bank account. He won't be complaining about that. But this was the push. It's so nice to see just a change of pace from Ents. Yeah, and they had aggression banana and towards second middle. So two points where they were taking the offensive and it gets them around. Yampi, in a game that they are losing 10 to 4, has two knife kills. Yeah, and he got one of them in the bloody smoke. That's wild here. And I love the flair from Yampi. It's good to see some players still trying to go for those risky maneuvers. Now, it's not always the way to go, but it makes it exciting for us as we get the last round under underway as device does have an AWP. He won't be operating with that AK towards Banana. We get a T-side orb. They're going to be a different look from Astralis, that's for sure. Oh, he didn't see Alu. He didn't, and he goes down to it. It's a four on four, and let's find themselves in a two-man split. Sergey and Sunny towards B. Yampy and Alu. It's so passive. Day. Look at that. Sunny is so ready and willing to rotate. He's just going to be holding a flash for his teammate. Now, thinking better of it. I, I would like to see Astralis just execute here. They've brought out a smoke. Sergei has one to work with, but in the four on four, they know that they're likely to isolate the jewels. Yeah, got it, bro. So Device is going to set himself up to try and... Uh, oh, he's getting an AK. Uh, here you go. Yeah, nice. He left himself a gun, so now he can be a little bit more Rumble Johnson in this one. So he's going to hold T-Ramp with the AWP, but change of plans. AK picked up. 2-2 two -two set up. Technically, favors Astralis. Smokes off the long side. Hoping that that causes paranoia, but Alu's info middle suggests there's nothing there. And here comes the BXX. Okay, Sunny about to be tested. It's Device who again draws first blood. 18 frags. And they found another. Sergey gets sussed out. Molly will deny the plan unless they want to opt for an alternative. And that is more vulnerable to an Alu shot. Damn, two not far off the mark. And he just jumps through the smoke. Device, new lease of life, grabs the AWP off of his cold dead hands. Yampi just looking to try and make a bit of impact, but it's an 11 round half. Astralis, firm control and heading into the defense. Looking to add another to the list of their Inferno victories. Sitting on a bench, waiting for the time to pass Dreaming of what happens next I see what I want to be Questioning my destiny, only knowing what I see I don't even realize I've already made a path And I can change it anytime, I can't, can't take it back I know what I want, but it seems
So 11 to 4 puts Astralis within touching distance. You can even see the scoreboard being brought up by Yampi behind Sunny. The Finns, Ents. I mean, let's be, let's be honest. In the same way we had to manage expectations when you're looking at the roster debut of Cloud9, yeah. you probably want to manage expectations when looking at the debut of not only a new coach, but a new player integrating into the Ents roster. Dota on your screens, he did have a nearly god tier moment so far, nearly denying in a 1v4. Killing that planter just a second too late and able to Astralis to convert it though. And convert they shall. Look at JG.bet. My God, full faith in Astralis and full util on the pistol. Astralis love it. Yeah, really investing heavily here. And these nades, we've been seeing them smashing down bomb plants time and time again. Can be used on either side, but if Zipex goes down early, it might make that a little bit more difficult. He spots out one, calls for a rotation, and Clave will be making his way over quickly. Got two towards the end of apartments for Astralis here, while Device on 19 frags has to deal with mid. There's no other player right now for Astralis who has double-digit kills. Yeah. And he's nearly got 20. Insane. That is a, a, a Device-like performance. Great nade. Look at the timing on that nade. Doto loses all of his health. That's over 150 damage dealt. Up long. Oh, they got mid that, to B. A one tap headshot. Glaive has cut them down to size, and there's more where that came from. Yampi confirmed to be wrapping into the site. And Glaive's got oh, a deep the smoke. Smokes. Deep smoke. They have to push through it. He needs to contest it. Double push, and both are under pressure. Finally, Glaive goes down. Good damage, but it's not enough. Yampi's practically winning this on his own. Oh, well, now the smokes are used against and Astralis. And he's picked up a nade. That nade can play in nicely if they could just stop it. Oh, oh good shot. Device has once again made things awkward. 20 seconds, they need to plant, but to cross back is Magisk. He has their cross. They can't even pick up the bomb without fighting him. Sunny bails them out. He got the first. Dupree needs to stand and fight, delivers the first. Sergey now 1v2. Double Ds. Looking to round this one out. And pushing in is Dupree. Letting him take two 1v1s. Wow, that was uh, almost very, very awkward for Astralis there. Both smokes, they got dumped. One towards Banana, one towards CT. Almost locked their retake out. The bomb could have gone down, and we may be looking at a completely different scenario. But the defusal come through, and they've actually opted to give it to Device so he can get a little bit of extra cash to splash because ends with that plant, it's likely we see them drop some AK-47s across or go for a Galil buy. And the reason I said that the bomb within the early stages there was spotted, it gave them enough time to set up for this. They knew what the indication was from Ents and 
where they wanted to finish. And then as that smoke faded, Yampi gets caught saw out of position. Yampi like started his plant. He's like, uh-oh. Took a glance, saw the smoke fading and just couldn't tuck it in time. Device to well. Yeah, so at this stage, Ents need to bounce back because the game will get away from them very quickly. They've actually opted to go for the Eco. So this means Astralis, with their upgraded rifles and SMGs, should be finding themselves their 13th. Not too many dramas whatsoever. It's just about keeping it clean. So smoke, deep one. Molotov, good as well. And double nades over towards T-Stairs as everybody from Ents is playing far enough back. They've listened to the in-game leader and coach for once. As oh, push up close, there might be some nades coming. And they've been able to avoid that chunky utility damage from Astralis here. Now we do see these rounds with the Glocks and the T sides in the recent meta love to just play it slow. And the reason for that is the CT still have to respect what's on the other side. They're operating from the darkness. So they will throw out their utility, smokes, flashes, Molotovs and HEs to crowd control, find damage and help dissuade any attack. But it's all gonna be five members with Glocks now patrolling up through the boiler room. Halo going late halls, four will be out middle. And quickly, as you like up quad, Magus might get a bunch here. It's a bit late, but they mop it up. Only one frag for Yampi there. SMG is getting the lion's share of the kills. That's going to be good in terms of the economy for Astralis as we move into round number 18. But this is do or die for Ents. If they drop this, they give the AWP and those AK-47s over to Astralis who are operating on a bit of a bonus round with two SMGs carried through. Well, we may as well close this one down because Astralis, we've mentioned this is one of their home maps. It is their pick. And after picking up Dust 2, 16 to 11 after a fantastic T half. Yeah. It's looking like this one might be over quickly here today. And I mean, all while we have a uh, Zipix top, top frag performance on Dust 2 and then a device top frag performance here on Inferno. They're just taking it in turns to have a dominant map. All right, well, no util utility damage over towards Banana again, as it's just Yampy in this logs position. There's no nades to blow him up anymore. And they're just operating with smokes now. So it's all down to the time and the decision-making of Ents. Astralis are fantastic at holding onto their nades when they know it is a slower play. But once again, Ents are operating out of a black box since the addition of Dodo and Saw, but it hasn't helped them so far on Inferno. More speculative shots up towards Banana just to have a clear indication really? that there is somebody home. Shouldn't go much further than this device. Really? You actually could time Sunny. Oh, on the reload. That's one nasty first blood to concede. And device, is he going to get away with this? He does. Dips away and can go and tuck into the site now. Mission accomplished. You've got the numbers advantage. But Glaive's rotate looks a little late. They're turning the corner long now. Glaive arrives on the arch. It's just an SMG. Oh, uh, just an SMG beating Yampi. And he's even managed to chip away at Doto. He gets across. Alu losing a bit of health as well. Doto hits a crucial shot, but he needs more. Nice, gets flashed off, and that's a great shot. Doto just needs to find Magisk now, but disrespect from Dupree. He pushes the library smoke just as they start having an advantage. And you can try and plant Sergei. I respect it, but that's a free AK upgrade, and Dupree might even see Zipex. Grab a big zoom banger. Oh, that's nightmare scenario because that was the investments from Ents now being used against them. And without the plant, they're operating with very little cash here, Ents. This was the timing of device. Just taking the game on his own accord. Uh, there's no rhyme or reason to that. Just going for information, finding a frag and setting them up for another round. This one here quickly running away from Ents. Two more. And this one is done and dusted. They forced it in again. It's a UMP. It's a Galil. It's a Deagle and two AKs. Utility, not a lot of that. Would take a slip up from Astralis here to see Ents even putting any more rounds on the board. They're in control of the economy. They're in control of the scoreline. They're about to be in control of Banana. Look at him go. Yampi's so hungry for something. He has managed to get them the opening kill just through the flames. So disconnected from his squad. Unfortunately, there's nothing to be profited from that. Now Device is actually set up with full info Banana. If you want to challenge him, you will meet his AWP. And again, rattles off a shot. It echoes That's the through bomb. Inferno. Look where the bomb is. Yeah. If you even got a deep smoke, dude, I don't know why he hasn't considered just completely and totally denying the retrieval of that with a deep smoke. But he's got his AWP as well to do that. Ah. There's a gap? Oh, he catches in midair. Sergey, just a slight visual. 
Oh, it's a it, man. Up. Yeah, this is just put a thought <laughs> It is done. Ants have just hit a bit of a bit of a wall that is Astralis. It's painted red, it's painted white. But it's a very strong wall as Astralis' defense. And after being, finding all the things they need on the T side, this is just feeling like a formality. It was 11 4 half for those of you that missed it. Astralis have come in with a pistol victory, albeit through uh, three unarmored CTs. They've been making it work with the util. And yeah, that's. Pretty accurate. The accurate summation of Ence's mental state right now. All right, well, it's an all-in. It's a Hail Mary. It's a fast B, at least with a couple. Oh, he found the entry again, Alex. He's done his best on that Yampy. He's looked like a, a very good uh, opener for them, but they don't have anybody to close. Yeah, here we go. People taking individual jewels and winning it. Sunny finds them. The oh, player, but come on, nice. device. Give the guy a break. Sorping in the site, or is he flanking me with a CZ-75? Oh, what a nasty death for Sonny to concede. They are coming his way. Oh, he didn't get a gun. Oh, oh, no. He'll have to defend with only a CZ and nine bullets. He can hear them above him. Magisk has found him. The comms are good. Sergei spotted. <laughs> Magisk just takes it in turn. And this will be all on to Alu. What a oh, quick no. finish to Inferno we've got here. Oh, absolutely picked apart. Device has lost his orb. Maybe it cost him his life here. Not to be. Device makes it work. Dominance from Astralis. It bodes very well for some of their later stages of IEM Beijing.